What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, when I talk to you on SoFi, I want to go over some of the current data points, what is causing it to go down, and go over everything else that you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So far, SoFi is down 4.11%, very low volume. So 19.6 million shares have been traded, 58.8 is the average. So based on this as well, so these are all the transactions that have occurred on the secondary market above $100,000. It is very clear that that big money is not buying SoFi today. And I kind of get the sense of the fact that big money is just holding off from doing any major purchases today until NVIDIA earnings. And plus FOMC meeting minutes, but I think the biggest priority today is going to be NVIDIA. That's going to either make or break the market, at least in the short term. So big money clearly is not buying. And as a result, algorithmic trading is causing SoFi to go down. And even more so, there's some other attributing factors why SoFi is going down other than the technicals, and that is this. So this was posted by Data Driven Investing, and it looks like some individuals that is getting tax refunds from the IRS is encountering some difficulties. And so it looks like it's getting bounced back, and so ultimately people can't get their money, and that's very bad. Even though it might not necessarily be a SoFi specific problem, Technically, SoFi needs to take care of its members, right? That's part of its slogan and like all in one, like that's what SoFi is intended to do. So far, this doesn't make SoFi look all the best, even though, like I said, technically it's not really a SoFi problem as far as I'm aware. But regardless, people don't necessarily care, right? If you're banking with SoFi or whatever bank and you can't get your money, who are you going to go to? You're going to go to your bank. Um, so this, once again, isn't necessarily the best image for SoFi. And plus, even in the past, SoFi has been usually relatively slow at correcting kind of issues. They're very good at posting afterwards saying, hey, you know what, we're wrong, we did this, blah, 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 as they've done in the past, I think more so 2023. But aside from that, they are relatively slow at transitioning. And so I do see as well a lot of people posting about shorts and it being a short squeeze play. So I'm going to talk all about that. Today, there has been no press releases, no SEC filings. So it has been rather quiet for that. And as far as shorts, they aren't doing all that much. They're increasing about 91,000 shares. 16.51% of the free flow is being shorted and 150.6 million shares overall are being shorted. Cost of borrow average is a little bit lower in comparison to I guess yesterday and so right now it is at 0.99 percent no new analyst ratings nothing along those lines so it is relatively quiet the technicals are clearly affecting SoFi as well the fact that it did fail to get above that 50-day moving average as well as that 855 mark so when it comes down to options so about 2.33 million dollars in calls have been purchased so far versus 947,000 in puts but sentiment wise still somewhat evenly divided between bearish and bullish so 43 percent of all the options being done today are bullish so that might be hedging done by shorts or that might be legitimate optimism uh, associated to that looking at some of the call options that are being purchased there is a consensus for it to be above 850 and looking at puts it is anticipated to be sub roughly around 750 so looks like the orientation is more so bearish for that and when it comes down to right now with that eight dollars and 15 cents it is trading between this S1 and the pivot. As I said in my pre-market video, you really wanted to watch this pivot point to hold. If not, then it is going to trend down. So it is going to be trading between the 793 and 824, at least based on the technicals right now. NVIDIA earnings will definitely change the dynamic of this very, very soon. So that'll be in roughly about four hours, give or take right now. But as of right now, looking on the actual chart, it did fail to get above this 50 day moving average, as I kind of mentioned. So it's been bouncing off of that over the last week, week and a half, which usually does happen because you need a good justifying reason for it to be above that because it did bounce off of that consolidated, bounced off this 100 day moving average. So it is actually just range bound between the 50 and 100 day moving average, which is a very perfect circumstance for options traders because any stock that is very volatile and kind of stuck within a set range like that's easy money um, in my opinion not financial advisor of course so on the actual chart it is consolidating once again so you'll really want to watch this 100 day moving average to hold if not then that is where things could get very scary very fast you'll see 850 at least in the short term if that doesn't hold like i said nvidia earnings will change the dynamic of that and will speed it up 
um, potentially break it above this 50 day or below this 100. Looking at stochastic though, you do see it around 67. So if it does continue to go up and retest that 50, it is going to be considered overbought. So that's not really going to be working that well with the technicals. All in all, to summarize, I know I'm ranting quite a lot. Technicals are looking overdone and does need to kind of pull back. So there's that circumstance that's not necessarily the best. And it's really unfortunate because especially post earnings, like their technicals looked primed and ready for a nice breakout. Just it's been, it hasn't had the actual full commitment from big money. They've been getting in and out strategically, but still it's not getting the favorability that I would really like. But what do I know, right? Let me know your thoughts on all that don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that and with all that appreciate all of you watching